Hello, I'm Archie Kosa, the legend of mathematics. I'm not actually a legend, by the way, I'm just trying. All of us are trying, no, nobody is perfect. So here in mathematics, uh, what you have to know is that it's all about understanding. It's not about numbers, weights, or letters. So in this module of set theory, what you have to know is definitions. So if you understand the de definitions, trust me, you are really going to enjoy the module because cramming here doesn't work. If you wanna cram, you'll die young. So the thing is that uh, you first have to read math, then you practice. You don't just practice. How come can you read something which you don't understand? So it requires a little bit of understanding for you to be there. So every definition is an if and only if statement, meaning you have to prove that the left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side, and the right-hand side is the same as the left-hand side. So in other words, mathematics is all about equivalence or equality. So in here, under sets will prove the equal of sets. So we, we use math like everywhere. It's a real life problem. So it's all about uh, thinking. So the thing is, you have to know that theory because if you, you run away from that theory or that definition or that law or that theorem, trust me, you never know math. You'll just be claiming you know math whereas you want. And some questions will show you that you don't know math. So the important thing is that even if you know, you also have to practice because we are chasing after time. We want to see if given a task at hand, can you complete it in time? So do yourself a favor. Never fool yourself. Even things may be simple. Sometimes simple things are the most challenging things because we take them for granted. Just do them and see if you are able to and confirm. Don't lie to your mind because these things I can see, understand them, they're simple. I just stay and don't do them, I'll see them in the test or exam. And that's not different from playing with your future. So you'll have to make yourself a favor. Ask yourself questions like why, what, where, when, and how. In here, our focus is on sets application, sets proofs. So you should understand how each and every method work. Where and when is the method applicable? What is it needed in order to apply that particular method? And why did you choose to apply that method? So these are the questions you need to ask yourself while trying to solve the problem. Remember, every method and procedure is defined by definitions, laws or rules, theorems or lemmas, and also proofs. So definitions are the basic keys. Starting with our proofs, you'll first have to understand the concepts. So these are the following concepts that you have to note. Under sets. Intersection. X is an element of A intersect B, if and only if X is in A and X is in B. So X has to be in both A and B for it to be in the intersection of A and B. Else A intersect B will be empty is when x is not in one of a or b or is not in both then the set will be empty the complement if x is in a then x is not in a complement and also if x is in b complement then x is not in b in other words if x is in the set it's not in the complement of the set and also if it's in the complement of the set, it's not in the set. The difference. X is an element of A minus B, if and only if X is in A and X is not in B. The union. X is an element of A union B, if and only if X is in A or X is in B. So X has to be in one of the set in order to be in the union. Or else, if X is in none of the sets, then X is not in their union. So which means X is just in the complement of the union of the set. So which means X is in A complement and X is in B complement. 
and this will be very much explained by De Morgan's law. Subsets A is a subset of B if and only if X an element of A implies X an element of B. And also if B complement is a subset of A complement. Equal sets. A set A is said to be equal to set B if and only if A is a subset of B, meaning X an element of A will imply X an element of, of B. And also B a subset of A, meaning if X an element of B, then X an element of A. And also A complement is the same as B complement. Cross product. A pair XY is in A cross B if and only if X is in A and Y is in B. Else, a pair XY is not in A cross B. This will only happen if X is not in A or Y is not in B. So if it's not in A cross B, which means a pair XY is in the complement of A cross B. Lastly, power set. X is an element of power set of A if and only if X is a subset of A. And for every small X an element of A, singleton X is a subset of A if and only if singleton X is an element of a power set of A. So these are the eight basic definitions that you need to know before beginning with sets proofs. B minus A is the same as a set defined by X an element of the universal set such that X is in B and X is not in A. And this is by difference definition. Which is the same as a set defined by X an element of the universal set such that X is in B and X is in A complement, and this is by complement definition. Remember, if X is not in A, then it's in A complement. So, a set B minus A is equivalent to B intersect A complement. I haven't started proving it. I just tried to correlate using the definitions. So, it is important for you to recall the definitions while we are proving. They are very much helpful and very much important. So bear that in mind.